I do not say what I am saying mistakenly, nor do I do what I do aimlessly. A messenger has come to you from among yourselves. So if you know him and you know who he is, you will see that he is my father, not the father of any of your women. Praise be to Allah for what he has granted us. And thanks be to him. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, who is one without a partner. He can never be seen with the eyes or described by the tongue. He brought everything into being without anything existing before. I bear witness that my father Muhammad is his servant and messenger. Allah sent him as a prophet to perfect his command to establish his rule and to implement the decrees. And so, the Prophet found the peoples divided into sects. And so Allah brought light to their darkness through my father Muhammad. May the peace and blessings of Allah be Allah then called him back to himself with love and mercy and wishing him to return. You are at his command and prohibition. You are the bearers of his religion and revelation. He has established a covenant with you and left an heir among them. Allah has made faith a means of purification from associating parts. He has made prayers a means of keeping charity, a way of purifying the soul, fasting, a way of instilling sin, a way of building the religion, justice, a way to bring harmony between people, obeying us, Ahlul Bayt, a way of managing the nation, our leadership, the Imama of Ahlul Bayt, a means of security from disunity, jihad to strengthen Islam, Patience, an aid to attaining divine, enjoining what is good, a means of bringing about. Kindness to parents, a safeguard from wrath. Maintaining family ties, a way of extending your lifespan and multiplicity. A way of sparing. Fulfilling vows, a way of attaining his forgiveness. Giving people their full due in weights and measures. Forbidding wine, a way of keeping people above shamefulness. Avoiding slander, a veil from being. Abandoning theft a means of attaining integrity. And Allah has prohibited polytheism so that people may worship him sincerely. Fear Allah as he should be feared. What a falsehood. The book of Allah is still among you. Its matters are clear, its rules obvious, its signs dazzle the eye, its restrictions are apparent, and its commands are evident. Yet you have thrown it behind you. Do you want to be rid of it? Or do you wish to rule by something else? Evil indeed for the wrongdoers would be this exchange. You made moves against the Prophet's family as if you were stalking them in swamps and forests. But we will be patient over you. Although it is like we are being stabbed with knives and pierced with spears. And now you claim that we do not leave inheritance? O oh Muslims, will my inheritance be usurped? O oh son of Abi Qahafa, does the Book of Allah say that you inherit from your father, but I do not inherit from mine? You have come up with something that has no precedent. Are you intentionally abandoning the Book of Allah and casting it behind? Have you not read where Allah says, وَوَرِثَ Sulaiman Dawood and Sulaiman inherited from David? Or when it tells the story of Zachariah and says, and grant me someone from yourself, someone to inherit after me and to inherit after the descendants of Ya'qub. Or when it says that blood relatives have prior rights upon each other in the Book of Allah. You claim that I have no share and that I do not inherit from my father. Has Allah given you a special verse in which he has excluded my father? Or do you say these two, Fatima and her father, belong to different faiths and do not inherit from each other? Are my father and I not adherents to the same faith? Or do you know more about the specific and general meanings of the Qur'an than my father and my cousin Ali? So, here you are. Take it, like a camel ready with its halter and its saddle. But if we encounter you on the day on which everyone will be gathered, what an excellent judge Allah is. When the hour comes, the wrongdoers will lose out. And it will be of no benefit for you to regret your actions then. O oh, people who think, O oh, strong supporters of the nation, O oh, those who embraced Islam, why this shortcoming in defending it? Why this slumber while you see injustice? Did not my father, the messenger of Allah, used to say, a man is upheld by his children? 
How quickly you have violated his command. How soon you have plotted against us. Yet, you can still help me. Or do you say, Muhammad has perished? Surely, this is a great calamity. It is tremendously damaging and will cause grievous injury. Oh, you who think, will my inheritance from my father be taken away while you are seeing and hearing it happen? You are numerous and well equipped. You have means and power, weapons and shields. Yet the call reaches you, but you do not answer. The cry comes to you. You obeyed us. So Islam became triumphant. The accomplishments of those days were realized. The fort of polytheism fell. The fires of disbelief were quelled. And the system. So why are you confused? Now, after everything was clear. Why are you hiding things after announcing them? Why are you turning back after going forward? Will you not fight those who betrayed their oaths? Who plotted to expel the messenger and were the aggressors? Who were the first to attack you? Are you afraid of them? Nay, you should fear Allah instead, if you truly be believers. Mm -hmm.